Welcome back, folks. Uh, this is uh, our number 11 painting. And this time I thought I'd take you to Italy, which is a place called Tuscany, or they call it Toscano. And it's, uh, it's a, a painting of a, a Tuscan farmhouse. I thought you'd enjoy this one. So uh, I've put the colours on, which is the usual colours that we need. No, no deviation from that. We can do it with all of this. No problem. This is a sky to set us off with. And we'll start with so there's your colors on screen now i'll move those off and then you can sketch your painting okay right the painting is is a, is a farmhouse with the uh, suppressors i think called suppressors these trees here lots of them about some distant hills and of course it's been harvested so there's, there's bales of hay knocking about in the foreground so there's a couple of farmhouses just all linked together there and a, and a bit of a hillside there and some bushes in front. So let's get cracking, shall we? Right, let's have a go. We get some water on first. This is for the sky, we'll start the sky. And I'm just putting some... The light today, by the way, is a change. It's not coming from the left, it's coming from the right. That's catching you out. They've all been from the left so far, but this one is from the right. So be careful. Some sunshine in there. I like a bit of sunshine, especially in Tuscany. It's a beautiful part of the world. Tuscany. Lovely. Right. Let's have some, let's have some, oh, I'll just drain that off a bit now. It's starting to go into a blob in the bottom there. That, 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 what happened to that tree, uh, that tree running yesterday on that, uh, that other one was a, a damn nuisance. But this one, we'll try and control it better. So now some blue, some ultramarine blue. That's some nice blue up here like this. Lovely. Like a bit of blue sky. We've had some lovely blue sky in April. It's been fantastic. Apparently it's a record. Today it's it's a bit it's a bit dodgy out there, but uh, it's, it's it's quite nice in the in the in the shed my shed or studio, whichever you like to call it. So so we, we're happy, we're in the studio, and we're painting, which is nice. I'm putting this blue in, I'm leaving some spots where, the, where the, I'm putting some clouds in. Just I'm shaping the clouds with, with the blues around the top, bottom there, like that. Now I'll take that down to the horizon, I'll put a touch of that lizard and crimson in there, Let, let's have a touch of pinkiness around the base of it, around here. That'd be nice. Around here. The trees will be darker, so put the sky over them and we'll, we'll sort them out later. The lights from the right, so many darks will be in the left, won't they? So the sun from there, so we'll get some darks, size of the clouds. Sweeping across the sky. And just mould your, mold your clouds yourself. Just, just do what you feel. If, if you feel the shape, shape of a cloud coming on, do it. This is your painting, your masterpiece. So just do it. Don't let everybody tell you anything else. And when you show it the neighbours, they'll be staggered how good it is. I bet you wait, can't wait to get out for this, this coronavirus and get onto this, see the neighbours again. Show them how good you are. Right. I think I'm, I'm fiddling now, so I'm going to stop. That's enough for that. Uh, of course, it wants. It needs drying off a bit, so I'm going to sort that out first. Just take the excess off there. 
and that. Uh, of course, it wants it needs drying off a bit, so I'm going to sort that out first. Just take the excess off there, and uh, where's my hair dryer? I'd like to make a noise for you. Sort of fill those in. Uh, I'll use a use some of the same stuff we've got. What we've been using on that, that and it might be a bit bit lighter. Let's put it a bit lighter. Put a bit more more camion yellow into it. Let's see what we get here. Just a bit of a fluffy tree here. It's not. It's not been hedge trimmed or anything like that, it's just it's a rough hedge. Of course you're going to get darks in the underside, because that's away from the sun, isn't it? It's always hidden from the sun, where the roots are and things like that. I'll make a bit more of that because it's, I've run out. And I shouldn't do that, but I've, I've done run out. And let's put a bit of this is a darker colour, and you'll see put some of this darks in here. Sweep it up into there. We can shape some of these trees like that. Just just shape the bushes so the darks will be on the left hand side this time. Don't forget. We'll have another bush down here. Uh, that's that's bled a bit in that blue there, so it's it's it's, it's, it's uh, give me a way out of it. I'll, I'll put a bush there instead. See, that'll get rid of it. You, you've got to think on your feet while you're doing these. Keep changing your mind. But as long as it looks right to you in the end, that's that's wonderful. It's a bit of a hedge in the foreground here. I'll put it a bit lighter than that. That's all. That'll make it more, more visible. Just there. Across there. Darken it up a bit there. You mix your greens. I said, do mix your greens. Don't just just take uh, one you've got on your palette, or you'll, you'll you'll slavishly copy that all the time. You will, and that's not a good idea. If you can make your own greens as you go along, you get a variety, which is lovely. Get that green coming on here like that. Touch a green. Put a bit of a hedge that's separating the, the, the cornfield from the from the the, well, the house greenery, which is uh, there must be a lawn or something, perhaps perhaps it's a posh 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 uh, farmhouse. Rich farmers, you know, that's what they like. Some of them, anyway. So we've, we've got a bit, that's a separation there, that, that's lovely. Now, we've got some more bushes here. Let's carry on with our bushes. We'll have a, a, a nice bush here, like this. Keep it just going. One across here, and of course there's one at the back there, I saw that, I'll, I'll pop that in now I think. It's, it's going to be subdued because it's in the background, isn't it? So we need to make sure that, that is paler than the one we're painting now. It's got to be less intense, or less green, it's got to be a touch more bluey. That's better, that colour. I've put some pencil to marine in that. And it's 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 killed the the, the heat of the uh, of the tree off. That'll do. And of course, that'll carry on behind that behind that. Conifer there, or the suppressors, whatever they call it. 
Let me get a bit dark in the bottom of it here. Carry on with our hedges in the foreground here. You can lose that line there now, you see, by because it's dry, you can go over that blue and it'll cover it. And you can bring that hedge right down to here, see. Separates that field. Gets you right down here. Uh, we, we're doing well this time. We haven't dropped any clangers yet. Don't get too confident, there's always time. I can make time for that. We'll get there. More hedge in here. Level that up a bit around there. Bring it down there. Link it to that one. Now I want to put some darks into this uh, away from the light, so we're going to put some darks in here. Now this dark is 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 what we use for this this uh, nine of this is the ultramarine and burnt umber. It's, it's a nice colour to have on the palette, ready some spare. And of course it'll it'll give you darks on the underside of this. And on the right hand side, left hand side, sorry, the light's coming from the right, isn't it? I've got to keep my, keep my thoughts together. So it, it, it's also making them different bushes as opposed to one big block of green. So you're separating them and making them look individual bushes as opposed to a block, which can't be bad. A bit of darks in the bottom side of these little ones here. So on that side. So it's given us some uh, some areas of, of different colour, which is which is lovely. It gives you variation. So the person that's going to look at your painting is going to say, "Wow, they've, they've made a good job of that." I hope that's what they're going to say anyway. So I'll put some more darks in this. I've lost it a bit there. By, by putting darks in here as well, it'll make this, this cornfield in the foreground sing out because it's, it's got a, a more contrasting colour behind it. That'll do. I'm, I'm starting to fiddle. I don't want that. Right, next thing I can do, I'm going to do the, uh, just dry this off a bit, and then I'm going to do the farmhouse. Get this hair dryer up. Sorry about this. Right, like that. Right, farmhouse. This is a white farmhouse. And it's got a pantal roof. So a pantal roof, a good colour for that is the burnt sienna, which is on oh my palette is that one there, number four. One, two, three, four. So I'll get some of that because that, that gives you a nice sort of Tuscan Tuscan uh, pantal look. I think they're lovely. I love the I love Tuscany. I do. Mind you, we I did a couple of weeks uh, tuition down there in in the in the Tuscan mountains. You know, beautiful. The place called Peralta. Oh, I had so much fun. It, it was a lovely place. The only trouble was, we 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 used to go out for dinner every night, and we used to start with pasta, and then the main course that was pasta, and then there was something called antipasta. In fact, we had this every night, a different kind of pasta, and in the, by the end of the fortnight, I was pasteurised. It was terrible, but I still liked it. It was lovely stuff. Right, let's let's get these these things in here. Now with this green, you get this this kind of colour. 
it's a complementary colour of green and it will be it makes this the painting sing out a bit it's a bit of focal point I'm trying to be careful here but not slow down too much Get the roof on there. Get the point on that one. So we'll do it a bit tighter than that if I can. The tissue there. Got too much push paint on my brush. Ah, see, that's better. And there's one at the back as well. Now, there'll not be a lot of colour variation on this because they, they're very much in the, in the same picture plane so it won't be much paler because it, it's, it's very close to it. So let's pop this in here. But what you'll see immediately is that the, the red contrast against the, the greens makes it sing out straight away. It, it, it's a lovely contrast because all greens makes it boring. Let's get the pantels on there. And of course, what I want to do on there is, if I can remember, <laughs> is uh, I'll put some some indication of pantel shapes on there if I can. Let's air dry again, just a little touch. Get my rigger on this thing, and that'll give you a better. I'll put a bit of a dark on there. I'll use that. Use that, that sky because we've got that bluey stuff, haven't we? So I'll just indicate a touch of the shapes of the the pan tiles on there. Don't come out and do everyone. Just just so that people can see it's a, it's a pan tile roof. This one will come down here. Like this. And of course there's a ridge on the top, isn't there? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm nitpicking now and I'll keep off the ridge. Let's just put, put some down here as well. Some on the inside of that, nice and juicy. Dark under there it is. Right. I better put some. Uh, I'll put the windows in. We've got some windows there. I'm going to put a few windows in. Let's get them done. Uh, I'll do the little one first because I'm right-handed. I'll start at the left and work my way across. So these are just. They're, they're a bit small. So let's just drop. Try and drop a couple in. One here, one there. You'll not see much from this distance, but at least you know that the windows. Another one there. One just here. I'll tell you what, it's a big farmhouse this. I bet they do B and B, you know. Oh my stay in there, very nice. Oh. They didn't, probably they didn't give me pasta every day. I like pasta, but uh, not for starter, main course and sweet. It is a big place, it's got all the windows in it. Get these, one up here, just here. I said that they're not, I'm not putting sort of window frames in and stuff like that. It's, it's, I'm suggesting these. 
This is a general impression. The door, I think, was a nice bright door. Uh, let's see, what have I? A blue one on the back one. That's a little blue, a blue one on here, this little one here, which is nice. And a red one for the main building. I'm sure they don't have red, but I do like, I do like a little bit of red in there. It, it, it sparkles. Lovely. So it's, it's starting to come together now, isn't it? We've, we've got some, some colour on uh, this. Oh, on that hillside there, by the way, I better put, put some in. There's uh, this some distant these these conifer things or suppressors. I better stick one or two of them in here. A bit too dark. I want something pale to match the hillside. Put some in there. Near. And not a lot of detail, I'm not putting robins in and things like that, it's, it's just a touch of conifer. Because they do look like the conifers there, I know that. A little one just here. In the, going at the distance. Right, now these, uh, these ones near the, the house, these are that lovely, lovely rich uh, greeny colour. It's, it's got to be a dark green this. So I'm going to use some that. This is, this is called Windsor Blue Red Shade this one. Uh, I'll try and find a spot to mix some. Uh, yeah just here. This will do. Find a spot. I've just broke my own rule there. I've uh, <laughs> put the green, the yellows in first. And there I have what I've done, I've put the red blue in first, but not to worry. We never get it right, do we? So that's a that'll give me a nice juicy dark green there, look. Make it a bit lighter. Right. Let's start at the left hand side, because I'm right handed. If you're left handed, start at the other side. I can put my hand there then, see? This is... They are lovely these. Do you know, it's, when I see a, a picture of these, I always think of Tuscany. They are lovely. Mind you, having said that, the, uh, when I was teaching in, in Provence, uh, they, they get some there as well, which, which is also lovely. I love Provence as well. We, we live in a lovely world, you know, really, when you think about it. Mind you, I've, I've done eight world cruises teaching round there, and people ask me often, what's your favourite spot? And you know what I say? Chroma, Chroma, Chroma in Norfolk. But, but apart from that, uh, Britain, we've got the best scenery here than anywhere. We can't beat it. They can say what they like, it's beautiful. Sometimes they get a little curly bit on the top like that, see? It curls over. Don't go bad. Right, let's get this one in here. Mind the farmhouse, whatever you do. I don't want to spoil the roof, do we? Let's pop that in there. My 
the end of the end just there around there oh, we're getting there and that lovely dark comes in here right against that wall or behind the wall actually gives it shape now I've done three there so I think what I'll do I'll put some uh, some darky bits in because it's light from the from the uh, right so we'll get some darks down here won't we don't forget that bit of dark Right, that's three. They'll do those three. I'll just, just down that bottom bit there to reach the field. Lovely. Right, the next one. Let's just press on. Keep going. That's one just here. This is a, a number six brush I'm using here, by the way, folks. It's it's a sort of a, a middle range brush which you can do fine work with. And also blocking like this. That's lovely. Pop another one in just here. When you put something dark in like this, the, the, the green you had on there behind it take, goes further back. Because it's not it's it's not important that green at the back it's 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 a spear carrier it's it's a it's 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 a backdrop so we don't want it to be jumping out in the same picture plane as these conifers because it's not important stick a bit up there if I can now I'll darken those a bit before they go off there's still there's still sort of moisture in there so that'll that'll blend in a bit this dark. Right, there's some just there, two more to go, get this one in, whip that in, then whip this one in, Flip the top up there, a bit more interesting. Bring it down to the bush so it's not floating in midair. Right, I want to just put some darks in those, those three we've just done. And uh, they should be alright though. There are some darks down here. Left hand side, don't forget, the light's coming from the right. That'll do. Right. Now, while, while that's all drying up, I can, I can concentrate on this foreground now, can't I? Oh, I don't know. We can, it's coming together, this one. It's coming together. Let's see what colour I've got on this one. Right. I'm going to paint. Give an extra coat down here, I think, on this. This is that same top I used in the sky, and that it's it's it, it's a it's a lovely colour, and it's so useful for you. I'm concentrating mainly on the foreground here.
I've been noticing I'm using perspective again. You know, the lesson four was perspective. These these uh, roots where they the, the was harvested are all, all obeying perspective and going narrower as they go in the distance. It makes your painting look that much better. I might make that green there. I'm not too happy with it. I don't want all this colour. So uh, I might change that later. But for now, it's like that. And I want to put some browns in there as well. That's that sky colour, the burnt umbers. I slip some of this colour in here. Keep it going. One round there, coming across there. Twiddle, 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 twiddle. Let me touch a twiddle there. Flash twiddle, there's some twiddle here. And it's just helping to sort of make the Make the field look as so a stubble. That's what we're after, the word stubble. It cannot be a bit of stubble. Touch, touch, touch. It, it'll soften in because it's wet. And near the, 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 the closest bit to us, I want to push from this. I'm using this blue again, this, 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 uh, this ultramarine and burnt dumber. It, it's, it, it's a useful, useful combination. It's just to sort of bring this forward to me, bring it forward into here. Keep it going. Keep following the, the indication of the lines. When it dries, we, we can fiddle with it at this foreground here to, to make it better. And of course, we've got the bales as well, haven't we? Bales of hay. Well, I think we need some figures as well. Oh, absolutely. Let's have some figures in this. So uh, I'll dry that off a bit and I can sort, sort these bales out. Figures. We need some figures. And of course, uh, Fred and Mabel, they, they, they love a holiday like this in Tuscany. He likes messing about with Fred. So if it's dry, I'll put Fred in by the bales there, that's a nice one. Let me he's got his favourite jumper on. This is Tuscan Red. <laughs> so I'll have him, let's see, let's see what is it, what's he doing? He's, he's, he's leaning over this, this one here. I'll lean over this one, that, that'll do it, over this one. Yeah, yeah this is, this here, is here, look. He's leaning. Don't know what he's leaning for, but uh, he's got his arm out here over the top as well. Whether he's trying to roll it or not, I don't know, but uh, he's there. That's his jumper. Right, I'll put him some some uh, trousers on. Even though it's, it's high to summer, you won't get Fred in shorts. No, he's a true Yorkshire lad. He likes his, his, his jeans he got. They're sticking to him. Right, here he comes. He's got his jeans. He's done here. Legs braced. Don't 
dark head, I said, a dark head like a threat. He's got to be leaning forward, hasn't he? So we've got his head leaning forward. So his head will be leaning like that. That'd be. Now then, he, I once painted something similar to this on, on, on one of the ships, and, and I've got a, a real interesting art group there. And they were asking where Mabel was. And I was getting some real, real interesting comments. Where is she? They were saying, was she behind the bale or was she, where was she? So I think I'll, I'll have her sort of not too close to her this time because they're married now. They'll, 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 she'll be further up there. I'll put her, put her yellow top on. She's just stood up here waiting for him to, whatever he's doing. It's a bit wet that for Mabel's jumper. I don't want to sort of, to drip all over and Spoiler, dry top of it. And of course, they've got matching jeans in the sail. So she's got a pair of jeans, but she's further away from him, so she's going to be smaller, isn't she? But she's still beautifully marked. There she is. Come on, Fred, she says. Let's go and have some pasta. She's waiting there for Fred. I told you, she's got red hair, she has. She's a redhead. That's just like Carol, my wife, she's a redhead. That's why she got a bad temper. Right, she's, she's fiery. She likes a good argument, does Carol? Especially with me. Right, so the two, we'll have another one up there on the farmhouse, that, that'll be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, put a bloke with a blue jumper on, a blue blue outfit up here. He's, he's still about here, wondering what to do. Don't forget he'll be quite tiny, won't he? Because he's got to get his head through that window there. Bring some trousers on. Be careful on this, because it's only small. There he is. He's talking to his mate. I'll put him with a... There's a three in there, and it's... Uh, I'll put him with a maroon, a maroon uh, jumper on. He's talking to him. There he is. They're just discussing the price of corn, you know, and pasta. Right, there they are. That's enough. It's an even number, really. I shouldn't you put another one in somewhere. I've got to put one more in. I've got to put one more in somewhere. Let's put him a brown, a brown top on. Uh, let's put him. Put him near this farmhouse here. He's tiny, he's really tiny, that's him. There. Just a touch of that, oops, he's there. So there's one, two, three, four, five there. Right, what haven't we done yet? There's a deathly hush. Well, the last thing I like to do is shadows. Because on a scene like this, you're going to get shadows. Because it's, it's a sunny Tuscan day. Beautiful. Brings back memories for me. 
in and I was telling him about this, this Peralta, up in the mountains it was. And we used to go, go out every night for this pasta, and pasta, more pasta. But the thing was, when we came back, they were up this mountain path and that, it was a light with fireflies dancing all over the, the, in the dark. I, I've never seen anything like it. And it I will remember that till the day I died. It's so, so beautiful it was. Right, let's, let's have a look at this, this farm house. That's going to have a shadow, isn't it? Definitely. So let's just, I'll just move that out of the way so I can get my arm near it. Now the light's coming from right, so this end of the farmhouse will be in shade. This bit here. It'll be in shadow, like this. That's in full sun, that's in shade. And of course, there's his mates at the next door. That'll be in shade there, won't it, as well? So that's been shared. And also, where the light comes down like that, the, where the tiles, the bank tiles overhang, there's a shadow on the side of the wall there, from the pan tiles, just there. I wonder this one here. So it's, 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 a, it's a light dropping down, it's, it's, it's a high sun in, in Tuscan, it's, it's beautiful. And of course, you, you, I don't think you see much of a shadow here because it's on this flat, flat edge here like this. You might, you might see a touch. It's a touch. You'll not see any from them because they're going that way. Even that, that one might get a touch of, of shadow just there. On this, this conifer here. Now these will cast a shadow, won't they? They're, they're against the light, these things here. I might get a dark on this end here. And it'll cast a shadow here on the floor. Right, this will keep being shared at this end as well. And that also will cast a shadow, but it'll be behind that one there. But it'll be a shadow. This one will be in shade around here where Fred is. And also cast a shadow on the floor. Mind Fred's feet. And Fred will cast a bit of a shadow, won't he? And Mabel will. Let's have Mabel in the business as well. Uh, we'll probably get a touch of shade from this where this overhang of grass is just here. Let's get this in. Touch to see how it's hanging over. More narrow as it gets further away from us. And we might get a touch down here, just here. And then uh, when I start to look for things to do, I worry because it's it's not good. I put a single bird in the sky. I that that'll, that'll give you value for money. You get a bird as well. No no expense spared on these paintings. Right, let's find a dodgy bit in the sky. By Jove, it's, it's all right. It's not not dodgy. Uh, let's have a look. Put one somewhere in a bit. Put one about here. It's it's it's, it's going to be a, a crow. This one. That'll do. There's usually crows about on that. And that, folks is our Tuscan farmhouse. I hope you've enjoyed it. Well, I have enjoyed it, but I hope you have. And if you have, give us a like on our website, on our YouTube, or, or subscribe, and you'll get to know about it through email. 
and I look forward to seeing you next time. So until then, it's goodbye. Bye-bye.